Guys, in this video, I'm going to tell you 30 massive Anvo leaks that have just been dropped. But first of all, Neo CEO during the live stream with the brand new Anvo L60 said that their target is to deliver one more car than the Tesla Model Y. Neo Model Y 销量的零头就算我们赢了，这太小瞧我们了。你争取比 Model Y 多一辆，<laughs> 好不好？在可见的将来啊，比 Model Y 多一辆，好不好 ？And it looks like you know their launch period. Uh, early October, you know, getting the cars out before the Xiaomi SUV and before the Tesla Model Y Juniper, there's a very good chance that they're going to capture a lot of market share, which is very, very good. So first of all, let's go over the massive, massive 30 leaks. So the leak number one, the price is actually going to be most likely cheaper than the estimated price, which was 215K RMB. It's going to be probably around 200k RMB, and then with bass battery rental, you can subtract another 50,000 RMB off of that, pushing the car at 150,000 RMB, which is absolutely cheap. Uh, there's no reason to buy a BYD, you know. <laughs> there's no reason to buy an Expo if, if it's at that price, which is absolutely crazy. Number two, uh, there. There is unfortunately no electronic dimming for the panoramic roof. That's only going to be available on new vehicles. They will, however, have a cover, sort of like what I have, but I have a cheap cover. Uh, but they might also just gift it uh, as, a as a purchase gift. Number three, the, there will be a Founders Edition. All right, we already know that. And the Founders Edition will actually include free autopilot for life. And then along with that, some other perks. So that's pretty nice, free autopilot for life. It's most likely going to be a paid suspension or just a flat fee add-on um, if, if it's not free. So that's pretty nice. It might be limited, like the first uh, 2,000 or first 10,000 Envo owners might get Founders Edition. Number four, the suspension is going to be better than the Model Y but between the Model Y and the L6. So it's gonna be softer than the Model Y, more comfortable, but not as soft as the Liato L6. So it's going to be a bit more sporty than the uh, Liato L6. And number five, in terms of uh, noise isolation, the car will be quieter than the Model Y, which is very nice. Number six, the software. Uh, Neo software on cars are named after trees. So Envo's software, in-car software is called coconut so previously they said it's going to start with c so the software name is coconut and the nomi all right the ai assistant is called xiao le little happy number seven the second row has so much room that a 10 year old can walk through it without having to bend down so the 10 year old can stand up straight and walk through it absolutely fine the front seats have massage ventilation and heating whereas the rear seats only have heating uh, so in terms of sound system there's Dolby surround sound with a massive subwoofer number 10 there's going to be comfortable braking so the there's not that much of a rocking feel when you brake the car number 11 the car has auto self-inspection to check for problems and also battery inspection through battery swap number 12 uh, there's going to be one tap for service, so you need help, one tap, and then uh, somebody's going to come and help you out. Uh, there's roadside tire patching and also pickup service for car when you, your car needs repairs and, and stuff like that. And then number three, there's uh, 13, there's fast and slow AC charging. So slow AC charging is back. Second gen Neos don't have slow AC charging, and they're all put in the same port. So they're next to each other and it, the cover flips open upwards. So that's really going to prevent rain from going inside. Number 14, there's one tap bed mode. So you just tap one button and then the passenger seat will flip all the way down and go flush with the second row and then making a comfortable bed. Very nice. The rear screen is independent from the front screen so you can play movies, etc. And then uh, that's not going to distract the drivers uh, or, or anything like that. Number 16, there's 30 degrees of rear seat adjustment. So uh, that's absolutely spectacular. Uh, even my car doesn't have that. So that's pretty nice. Number 17, there's massive amounts of 
headspace in the second row. So for a person that's 175 centimeters tall and you're sitting in the second row, you have three fists of headroom. And then when it comes to the interior, there's dual tone. The material, they are indeed using leather and also wood. So, wow, premium materials indeed. Number 19, the rear seats are even more comfortable than the front seats, apparently. So, very, very comfortable car. Number 20, uh, they may cancel the queen seat. So, the queen seat, what is the queen seat? Well, they have this footrest, electronic footrest in the front passenger seat for the queen seat. And then it has more adjustments, that kind of stuff. So, they might cancel it to save on cost, which I think is kind of reasonable. So, yeah, that's good. 21, the center console... So this thing right here, the center console is forearm deep, like a forearm deep, like this long, basically, which is quite deep, quite nice storage space. And then number 22, the wireless charging at the center console is actually going to be the same as uh, on a Neo. So it's also going to be very fast wireless charging. And of course, it has the NFC key function, so you can unlock, uh, unlock the car with that NFC key, car key, which is pretty nice. Number 23, the door handle is the same as Neo's. 24, the trunk is actually larger, the trunk space, larger than the Neo EC6. And the back row, the second row, has more space than the Neo ES6. So very spacious car. It's pretty much overall more spacious than a Neo, which is quite amazing. There will unfortunately be no glove box, just like with Neo. Neos don't have glove box. The steering wheel button is a roller type button, sort of like what you see on the Tesla Model Y and Model 3. And it does have adjustments and you can click it as well. And then 27, there's sound field adjustments. So with the EQ, you can adjust um, if you want it more quiet in the back and louder in the front and all sorts of adjustments like that. And there's no in-car aromatherapy. So... Um, basically they'll just have like these little incense tablets that will help uh, flavor the car basically and then next uh, all right 29 this is really nice there's going to be a massive so in the trunk sinking space there's a the, it can be equipped with a huge refrigerator we were basically already know this freezer and this is actually absolutely beautiful according to people that have already seen it and then next there is unfortunately no trailer qualification. So if you want to tow anything, you can't get this car with a tow hook. It, it won't, it doesn't have that option. You can't equip it with that. And then there's also a possibility that it might be delayed until October 10th launch event, but we'll have to see. They're targeting late September. So um, October 10th, I mean, it might just be like, October 10th, they launch the car. The next day, they start delivery. Or they might just launch the car late September and then deliveries on October 10th. So that would also be reasonable. So not too big of a deal, to be honest. 